G'day, how's it going? I'm doing very well and I hope you are too. In this video we're going to be learning a nice little trap which even players of Grandmaster Strength have fallen for. So yeah, do not expect crappy traps like this one. And here if we take that pawn, which is a double question mark move, um, this diagonal becomes extremely weak and that means black can take here, bishop takes, bishop here. When we put our queen here, he can just take, and at the end of this line, um, black's just pawn a piece up. Or simple little traps like this one. Knight here, and if we take on e5, which is a critical move, probably not very good. Queen here, attacking those two, and if we take on f7, suddenly he attacks here. We put the rook here, queen takes, pawn check, and when we block, he's got knight f3 checkmate. I mean, come on. Come on, this is basic stuff. Even schoolboys in Australia and Canada know these traps. This is chess clinic. You're supposed to expect more sophisticated stuff from this channel, okay? Okay, I'm kidding. No, sometimes we uh, we show crappy stuff here also. <laughs> okay, so c4, e5, knight c3, knight c6. We've got an English opening where black has played e5. And now after knight f3, black's got f5, which is a rather aggressive move. Um, because black um, is playing so aggressively, um, white doesn't want to play passively and he chooses d4, which is a sharp variation. And now black advances in the center with e4, the knight is on. And here white's got this intermediate move, attacking the queen. So black puts his knight on f6, blocking bishop. And now the best move for white is knight d2 intending e3 and if black takes on d4 then we've got this discover attack and the knight on d4 is on and this position is supposed to be fine for white so let's go back but instead of playing knight d2 which is probably the best move white chose d5 and this is not a very good move because black can take on f3 now and when white takes back now black takes on g2, and now white's got to choose. He's got to choose one of these four moves, taking on b7, taking on d7, which is a check, taking on g2. Those are the three main moves that black, uh, that white needs to consider. Now my question here is, which one would you pick? I'm going to give you a little time. Think about it, take your time, which move do you think is best? In this game, white chose pawn takes d7, which is a huge blunder, because now Grandmaster Tugmakov played knight takes d7, double exclamation mark, and it turns out that white's losing a piece, a minor piece, in all variations. It doesn't matter what he plays. The bishop on g5 is on, and black's also threatening to take the rook on h1. So he's basically losing uh, losing a piece here. Now, I mentioned earlier on that even players of Grandmaster's strength have fallen for this, and I wasn't joking. Um, George Moore, um, rated 2450 at the time, and later becoming a Grandmaster, um, fell for this once and he resigned here immediately and also Grandmaster Yuri Rasuvayev um, he applied on a few more moves but he soon resigned he could have resigned right now anyway um, I hope you like the uh, the trap I'll be creating more videos on opening traps and um, yeah um, I'll see you soon thanks for watching please subscribe